Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 25th of 2019, well, it is titled The Ghosts of Cassiopeia. So what do we see here? Well, we see a ghostly image to the right side and the bottom of this image um, and looking like a very a nebulous area. So a very ghostly type area. And this is an example of what we call an emission nebula. Now an emission nebula is what happens when the light from a hot star will energize the electrons on hydrogen atoms within the gas. So specifically, this is the star Gamma Cassiopeia, uh, the brightest star you can see in this image just up and to the left of the nebula. And that is an extremely hot star, what is classified as a B0 star. So the very hottest of the B classes of stars. And that reaches a temperature of about 25,000 Kelvin. Now our own sun is about 6,000 Kelvin. So this is four times hotter than our own sun. Now the hotter a star is the more high energy radiation it emits. So our sun does emit some ultraviolet radiation, but a much hotter star will emit a higher percentage of its light in the ultraviolet. So even though this is a visible light image, were it in the ultraviolet, that star would be even brighter, putting out a higher percentage of its light that way. And it is the ultraviolet radiation that is needed to energize those hydrogen atoms. You need a certain amount of energy to remove the electrons and move them into higher energy levels. And then as they recombine, or drop back down in energy levels, they will give off certain colors of radiation and hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, gives off a very distinct red color that we associate with emission nebulae like this. Now that means that this star has to be relatively close to the nebula in order for this to happen. And in, and in this case, it's only a couple of light years away, three to four light years away, and energizes that nebula. In terms of distance, that's about the same distance that the uh, star Alpha Centauri is from our own solar system. So it's relatively close when we speak about stellar distances. So what we know is that the star is required for this nebula to be visible were that star not there, the gas and dust around could still be present. But it requires the energy from this hot star in order to be able to illuminate it and allow us to be able to see the nebula. Without that star, the nebula would be quite invisible. So that was our picture of the day for October the 25th of 2019. It was titled The Ghosts of Cassiopeia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be only the smile. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.